bitch previously on Savage. Hitting him in the balls is actually a bad trigger for him. So I wouldn't want to make that a habit. Donna, I'm sorry this had to happen like this, but this is what you're getting yourself into. If you spent more time minding your own business, your nigga wouldn't be the father of some other bitch's child. At this point, if you had something on me, I mean, wouldn't I already be in handcuffs? Hey, Cameron, it's nice to meet you. Please, call me Cam. Cam. Yeah, that fits you. I know that this is still new, and we're still getting to know each other, but what you did is a trigger for me, and and I'm not shy about my feelings, my emotions, or just being honest. I received everything you just said, Nathaniel. <laughs> my idea. How did you get the name Noah from Nathaniel? I just don't like the nickname Nate, so I go by Noah. And back to you. This bitch. I'm not gonna lie, I miss this bitch like crazy. There are just certain lines you don't cross with your friends, even when you're mad. You're tired of using your job as a crutch as to why you can't find a man. Better yet, keep a man. You're tired of the niggas using you for your looks and then losing interest in you when they actually get to know you. Your pussy talks of all the bodies you've had this year. <laughs> You're tired of a lot of things, sis. <laughs> but it's not that. I honestly don't think anyone has said anything to cut me so deep in my life. It's not like I don't have feelings. Yeah, let's do it. At the end of the day, that's my sister and family's fine. Hi, Iman. Yeah. So I just got my first case and I was hoping I could pick your brain a bit so I could see how things are done before branching on my own. Yeah, come on in. So I actually was just reading a brief summary and I'm supposed to meet the client today for more details. Mm hmm What's the hard? <sighs> Not pretty. Uh, African American male, first degree, attempted assault on his pregnant girlfriend. We have got to do better. If I can be real with you for a second, mm -hmm. I just accept this because I'm too new to be choosy. Right. But this type of shit disgusts me, you know? With everything going on in the world, our brothers should be protecting our queens, not putting hands on them. Yeah, you got that right. It's actually refreshing to hear. You know, I can't say that I hear anyone speaking up for black women too often. Or at all. That's true, but don't get it twisted. My brother's out here just as unprotected. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. Only I try to keep my personal life separate from work. But whenever there is injustice in a shit country, especially for our people, I feel like I gotta take on those cases pro bono, you know? Daddy is an activist, too? Ugh. Give a voice to the voiceless. Help those people discarded by society. Wow, I am so impressed with you. Now, I do think that you're a little too new to take a pro bono, but I can help you navigate the bureaucracy when the time comes. So, I know this may be off topic, but what inspired you to get in the law? Um, I don't know. I just, it's always been a passion of mine, you know, um, to help others that look like me. And the opportunity presented itself, and I just capitalized on those opportunities. You know, ultimately, I want to have my own firm. Be the HBIC, you know, and bring people in under me. Okay, real talk. I've been impressed by you since I started here. Everything is just so perfect about this nigga. I need to figure out what's wrong about him. Because everything seems too right. I've heard a lot of great things about you in passing. Maybe I can hear more from you. Are you asking me on a date, Mr. Morris? <laughs> of course not. That would be unprofessional. Think of it more as an external business meeting. So fucking fine. Hey, 
Or my call to impromptu business meeting. Oh, thanks. Imani. Imani. Hey, somebody call 911. Imani. Imani, wake up. Wake up, Imani. Hurry up! Yo, I knew she had the Rona. That's what I said. Look, it wasn't even alive. You know, it, it would have been painless. Nobody would have got hurt. You know, we still be good. Our child is not an it. And I am sorry he is not perfect in your eyes. But he is perfect to me. See, you're saying all this goofy shit right now. But what happens when he starts school? 
What happens when he starts getting teased? Or, or what happens when he gets older and he can't get no ass? What happens when he's so sad or depressed when he finds out that his perfect child isn't perfect to anyone else but you? Are you going to go on a date with him? Uh, are you going to get his dick wet? No. So you're being selfish as fuck right now because you want a baby. And you're only thinking about yourself. You can just have another kid and he'll be normal like we both really want. Our child will be just fine. Even if you're not around. That's your child, y'all. You know, I should have listened to Asia. She warned me about all of this. Look, I don't want your retarded ass kid, yo! Fuck you, Terrence! I can't wait to take 50% of all your shit! Watch you suffer for the next 18 years. Bitch, you ain't taking shit! Look, I will take care of your retarded ass kid before I ever let you put papers on me. Fuck out of here! Fuck out of here. <sighs> Donna, just get the fuck out! Alright? You good? But you broke ass game in here with take this new case the fuck out! What's up, babe? Hey. Oh. Oh. Alright, so we gonna try this again. What's up, babe? No, I'm really not in the mood for this right now. It's been a long day. So you gonna treat me like shit again because you had a bad day? You could at least tell me so I can give you some space. Give you some time to get back to regular. Regular? <laughs> it's the disrespect for me. Goodbye. Bet. You know, I'm really appreciative of your kindness, but you really didn't have to do this. No, I really did. I thought when you dropped to the floor, I lost you. I'm assuming everything's okay since you were discharged, but how you feeling? Well, they discharged me because I didn't need a ventilator. But I'm fine.
Iman. Iman. I need your address. So I can take you home. Hey.